Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how we screed a garage floor level. So you're going to get to see us pour concrete for a garage floor and then the basic methods we use for screeding it by hand. Now this floor does slope two inches from the back towards the front doors and it's about a 28 by 28 foot garage so you get two inches of slope and about 28 feet that's not really that much slope but the basics of screeding off of wet pads is what I'm going to show you here today and you know it's it's important to learn that if you're going to learn how to pour concrete because you don't always want to be setting up screed rails or screed pipes you want to be able to wet screed concrete because it's a lot faster and in the long run you know it's just going to cut down your pouring time and, and get you to pour these floors a lot faster so obviously whenever you pour a concrete floor you got to get your concrete poured out and that's what we're doing here and on this job here i'm just hired to pour and finish the concrete i wasn't in the design process or the i wasn't really even in the bidding process i'm working for the concrete wall guy so the guys that do the concrete walls hire me to come in and do the floors so they're the ones that bid these floors they're the ones that that bid what kind of concrete we're using what reinforcement we're using and all that i don't have any say in that so i just show up and pour and finish the concrete so we're using a 3500 psi concrete here with fiber mesh reinforcement in it it's got a three-quarter stone it's got mid-range water reducer in it so we can pour like about a six six and a half inch slump without having to add much water so it doesn't really hurt the strength of the concrete and in the garage floors that we pour here in maine because we're exposed to so many freeze and thaw cycles you know we have air entrainment in the concrete too to help protect the concrete so the first thing we do is we gotta we gotta mag float the edges to give us something to screed off from and usually the day before i show up like this and i shoot my grades with my laser so i i set the height of the concrete floor and then we snap a chalk line from these pencil marks i'm putting in the i put one in each corner then one in the middle and we'll snap a chalk line that's what me and luke right now are magging those edges to is that chalk line and what darren's doing is he's using the laser to get us our our wet pad in the middle that wet pad in the middle is very important when it comes to screening the concrete floor level he needs to set that wet pad at the right at the right height so this floor will continue to slope towards the front doors so right there on the right where luke is magging is actually an inch higher than where darren is making that pad and then out front where we set those forms for the garage doors that's an inch lower than where darren is so darren's making sure that that center pad is is right where it needs to be by using the laser and this is why so we need something to screed off from in the middle of this floor so we're going to make this wet pad right out of the concrete now i'm going by the pad that darren just shot and then darren's using that outside edge with the screed and we're screening a nice a nice wet pad to go off from when we when we level the concrete out with the screed board we're using we're using a magnesium screed board it's a 14 foot long one so you can see Darren's looking at the pad there on the outside up next to that concrete wall and I'm focusing on that center wet pad and I'm making sure that the screed is is touching every time I pull it back towards me it's touching that wet pad I can tell because it leaves a little bit of a line in the concrete yeah I tried to zoom in here a little bit so you could kind of see that what that line I'm leaving now if I'm not leaving that line that means I'm probably too high on my pad and I'm gonna leave a hump in the in the floor and if I'm digging in too much that means I'm gonna leave a low spot in the floor so you want to just be skimming over the surface of that pad whether it's on the outside edge or in the middle and that's gonna make sure your concrete's nice and level now you'll be able to tell if you got highs and lows when you go to bull float because they'll show up under that nice nice straight bull float and if you don't then that means your floor is screeded pretty level you can see the marks that that screed leaves in the concrete right there really good 
Well, it's going to leave that same mark right on the very outside edge. You can see that's what Darren's looking at over there. And my head is basically focused on the outside of that straight edge. And I'm letting Luke, the guy that's doing the puddling, he's worrying about, you know, how high or low the concrete is in the middle. He's trying to keep it just a little bit high for us. So we're always pulling back some concrete. Now I'm going to run the bull float over it. And I am running it perpendicular to the screed lines, which is what we try to do most of the time. That's going to tell you if you've got any highs or lows. And if, if you do, they'll show up, you know, under that bull float. If you've got low spots, you're going to see the gap under it. And if you've got high spots, it, you know, your, one of your ends or both of your ends of the bull float won't be touching. And you can see how nice and level that is when we run that bull float over it. There's no gaps under it. There's no humps under it. It just bull floats really nice and flat. And that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to finish up that bull floating over there. I had to bull float in the same direction we screeded, which is just going to happen sometimes. So, I mean, if, if when you get to screeding as level as we do, that's really not that much of an issue. If you're just learning, you're going to want to try to do it most of the time perpendicular. So you can see Darren and Luke now are coming down that bay in front of the garage. And you can see how they kind of kick their feet as they screed and that fills in their foot tracks now we got it a little bit low there so i had to jump in and push some concrete up for them and that's the reason they stopped the you know you just can't keep screeding if it's low you got to get enough mud there to to pull back you can see every time they pull that back they're lifting one foot and just replacing it by kicking in a little bit of concrete there and that allows them to keep moving backwards without stopping so the only thing I need to do is just make sure they got enough crete there, but not, not so much crete that it flows back under the screed. Now it takes, it takes a, a few floors to get used to doing it this way, especially with a partner like that. But you can see how, how we're bent over with our knees. You know, that's controlling most of our body weight, how our hands are situated on the screed. They're about shoulder width apart. That's the easiest way to do it by hand right there with a with a 14 foot straight edge like that or a 16 footer or 12 footer, you know, we got all those sizes, but we generally pick the screed based on how big the floor is. So those guys are gonna finish screeding that out. They're gonna get to that spot right there, then they're gonna step out and then they're just gonna finish off that bay, making sure everything's nice and level. And then we'll finish bull floating that. And if the bull float, you know, like I said, if there's a gap under it, you know you got a dip and you got to throw some concrete in there. Or if the if the ends of the bull float, if the two ends are really digging in, they're leaving some big lines, then you know you've got some spots that are out of level. And you know you either may want to go back in and rescreed them, or just try to fix them with the bull float by going over it and over it. But we we don't have that trouble anymore so you can see the bull float leaves a nice even even line to it on both sides and darren can just kind of go easily back and forth well guys if you want to see more training videos like this you know i got all kinds of them in the concrete underground that link will be below that's for my my private training academy and again thanks for watching these videos if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe if you think this video gives any value, just hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next one.